Hey, how's it going? I'm Nick Gaska and welcome back to I Could Do That DIY for another doll repaint video. Today I'm going to be customizing Honey, the doll that I designed and created myself. This doll is going to be a very special one because this video is actually a collab. Today's collab is with Sammy from Harley's Dollhouse. If you haven't seen her work, go check out her channel. I'll put a link in the description below. The theme for today's collab is Cyclops Girls. I'm really excited for this collab, it's going to be really fun. And of course, I designed a new face for Honey. This is Pumpkin. Pumpkin is of course a Cyclops. With that being said, she has a singular giant eye right in the center, a really cute nose, some intense cheekbones that are really snatched, and yeah, overall she's really pretty. Off screen I went ahead and printed her and prepped the body. This is how she turned out. I used the same resin mixture from my previous doll, Galaxis. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. The skin color is a really pretty grape lavender. Alright, let's get into the face up. As usual, I prepped the face off screen with two layers of Mrs. Super Clear before starting. Now I'm going to sketch out my eyeliner shape with a watercolor pencil. For this doll, I'll be using a purple pencil to mark out my shape. Once I'm happy with the shape, I'll fill it in. Of course, I'm using my eraser to redefine my line as I go. Using the same watercolor pencil, I'll draw the border for the waterline as well as the creases for the upper eye. Next, I'll use some pastels to add some color to the face. I'll use various tones of pink pastel as well as a purple pastel to contour. On the next layer, I'll use my black watercolor pencil to fill in the eyeliner shape and use it for any details that I might want black. Next, I'll use my pink watercolor pencil to fill in the waterline. Alright, cool! Now I'll use my white watercolor pencil to add some texture to the lip. After that, I'll use my white pastel to add some highlight to the face. After I brush on some pastel, I'll blend out the edges with a clean brush. After that, I'll add some pink perlite mica powder to the cheeks for some added shimmer. Alright, cool. 
Now let's add some more color to the lip. I'll use my pink watercolor pencil to darken up the outer edges of the lip. After that, I'll blend it in toward the center of the lip. Using my black watercolor pencil, I'm adding another eyelash to the upper eyelid. I'll do one side and then do the other side off screen. Alright, now using some baby pink acrylic paint, I'm going to paint in the waterline. This just makes it nice and opaque. Alright, now using my very pointy and freshly sharpened black watercolor pencil, I'm going to draw in the lower eyelashes. I'm going to start at the outer edge and work my way towards the center. As usual, I'll use my eraser to correct as I go. Alright, awesome! Those look great! Now using some black pastel, I'll darken up the base of each lash. Off screen, I'm going to sprinkle on some iridescent glitter to the face. Wow, it looks really good! Now using some watered down black acrylic paint, I'm going to paint over my eyeliner. Again, this will just make it nice and opaque. And that'll do it for the face up. Alright, the next step will be adding some fake eyelashes. As usual, I'll be using Kiss Brand in the style So Real. I'll be using two lashes for one eye. I'll put one lash on, measure it to the center, and cut it. Then I'll place and measure the other lash. After that, I'll add some glue to the eye and to the eyelash. Then I'll attach one eyelash, and then the other. After that, I'm going to set it aside to dry. Once it's all dry, it looks like this. Now let's add some gloss. I'm going to gloss the waterline and the lip. Alright, now let's move on to the wig. Off screen, I went ahead and prepped a wig cap. I also created some yarn wefts. They're a mixture of a light yellow and a light pink. I'm going to start at the back and super glue them on. I'm going to work my way around the bottom hairline and continue to work my way up. While I do that, I just have to say thank you so much for watching and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the video. Also, make sure to hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our latest projects. Also, make sure to follow my Instagram accounts. The Honey Doll Instagram will have updates on how to get your very own honey very soon. Alright, cool. Now that I've worked my way fully to the front, I can glue some hair wefts to the inside of the wig cap. 
I'm only going to glue some hair to the front hairline. Once the glue is fully dried, I can blend it into the rest of the hair. Alright, cool. Now that that's all dry, we can style it. So far it looks kind of crazy and like this. I separate the back and add some hairspray. I'm using a ball of hair that I matted together out of some leftover webs. I'm going to incorporate into the hair for some added volume. I'm just going to add it in and comb the hair over. As I comb it over, I'll smooth it out. Then I'll add some hairspray to set it. After that, using a hot stainless steel chopstick, I'm going to curl and style the bottom. Alright, next we're going to style the bangs into a little ponytail. I'm going to anchor the excess hair onto the rest of the hair with some needle and thread. I'm just going to sew it through tied around the other hair, and pull it tight. After that, I'll knot it and cut off the excess. Then I'm going to split the hair evenly, and then press it down towards the rest of the hair. After that, we're going to style it into some cute curls. Position the curl, use some hairspray, give it a final style. Add some more hairspray, and there you go. Alright, it's looking really good. I'm going to style the other side the same way, and then add a bow to the center. And to finish that off, the bow is going to get a rhinestone. Alright, next up is sewing. Here are the patterns for the dress we'll be making. I already cut up the fabric off screen. For the fabric, we'll be using a pink cotton base with a yellow organza overlay. I'm going to start by sewing the darts on the skirt. After that, I'll sew the shoulder seam on the bodice. Cool. Alright, now let's hem the skirt. Alright, awesome. Now let's gather the skirt overlay. I'll do two basting stitches along the top edge and then pull it tight. Then I'll pin to the skirt base, and then sew it to the skirt base. After that, we'll go back to working on the bodice. I'll connect the overlay to the base at the armhole and the neckline. But once I started to try to turn it inside out is when I realized I made the shoulder opening way too small, and I can't fit the back through the opening. So we're making a new bodice. This is going to be a strapless bodice. Here's the cutout fabric, and here's what the pattern looks like. I'm going to start by sewing the top neckline opening. Cool, now let's move on to sewing the bust starts. I'm 
Alright, that's looking pretty good so far. Now we're going to connect the bodice to the skirt. Once the waist seam is sewn, we can do a velcro closure at the back. Once the velcro closure is in at the waist, we can sew up the bottom of the skirt. Alright, awesome! The dress looks really cute so far. But we're going to make it even more cute by adding a bunch of bows. The dress will be getting a very large bow at the waist, and a bunch of bows scattered all over the skirt. I'm just going to super glue them into place. I'm going to start the very large bow at the center. After I do all the bows, I'll add rhinestones to the center of each bow, as well as two rhinestones flanking the bow. Alright, next step is the shoes. We're going to be using these open toe platform shoes and these buckles. We start by painting everything yellow. We'll be mixing a cream paint and a yellow paint to make sure that they match the dress. I'll finish an ankle strap with the same ribbon that I used for the bows on the dress. I'll finish up the shoes off screen. Now let's move on to the eye. I painted the iris base a light pink. We'll be doing some striations in the iris with some yellow. I'll do a couple different tones of yellow. I'll do a base of light yellow and then darken up the center with a dark yellow. On the outside of the iris, I'll add some white. Then I'll add some rose pink. Once I'm happy with how the iris is looking, I'll add a black pupil. Off screen, I'll add some glitter and some catch lights and finish this eye up. Of course, the finishing touch will be her nails. I'll do a base of baby pink, followed up by some iridescent glitter. I'm going to do the fingernails and then move on to the toenails. After that's all dry, the doll's complete. So here she is, here's the finished result. I love how she turned out, she looks super cute. She definitely has major 60s vibes. Her style is giving me very Valley of the Dolls meets Juno Birch. As you can see I made her some additional accessories. She has a full set of pearls, she has earrings, necklace, and a bracelet. Please let me know what you guys think of Pumpkin in the comments below, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Also if you have any ideas for other themes for Honey. Those are always super fun and I love to hear your ideas. Make sure to stick around to the end so you can see the group shot of the club. Thanks again for watching!
So here's the group shot. Thanks again to Sammy from Hardy Stall House for participating. There will be a link to her channel down below. Make sure to check out her video as well. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!